Hallelujah. Happy glorious morning to you. Hallelujah. I am here to encourage us again. I am here to bless us again with the word of God. I wish I tied to uh, that pride and self centered are uh, excess luggage. Uh, hallelujah. They are excess luggage that, need, that you need to deal with. Uh, remember, we are still talking about the excess luggage that we need to throw away this year so that you can be blessed by God. Uh, excess luggage. Uh, Pride is the ability of two eye and opinion of one's own ability or work. Pride is about feeling of being better than other. It's about focusing on yourself alone. And this is not good to God. Remember the Bible says God does not love them. those who are pride. Pride, God does not love them. A pride generates all that sins. Hallelujah. When you're about, it's about yourself. That is why I had the same center to it. Uh, because self center, that uh, a pride, they go together. It's a self center. Uh, it's center that uh, is the ability to be consigned uh, only with their own wants and needs. Uh, and they are not interested. Uh, they are not consigned uh, about others. Uh, self centered person uh, cannot love others uh, and that is what i bring the two together self-centered uh, and um, pride uh, those two things are the two excess luggages uh, that is in your life uh, you have the, you have the luggages already in your life and those one are the excess one that need to be cut off uh, that needs to remove uh, that need to drop so that you can walk well freely by the time you're taking excess luggages with you now it draws you back it make you not to walk away now it make you not to run when it when the need come it make you not to be stable now it make you not to be comfortable now excess luggage in one's life uh, is stop you from receiving uh, because you have you have already filled uh, your cup is already filled a cup that is filled uh, nothing can be added uh, so when you have those excess luggages in you now uh, no thoughts you drop there now uh, you can pray and uh, pray and pray and pray and pray for one year now uh, for two years for three years you're praying uh, and nothing is coming does it mean that god no longer answers prayer yes he do answers prayer does it mean that god is dead no my god is not dead uh, so when it is like this uh, you need to examine yourself uh, you need to search yourself uh, you need to shake yourself uh, what are the cause excess luggage is uh, can be the cause let's pray a uh, father in heaven i just placed you again this hour i adore you for whom you are for what you have done and for what you keep doing now uh, thank you for your word that comes forth again this hour lord in heaven i pray for the revelation of your word uh, to know what is pride and what is self-centered uh, so that Lord King of glory, your people can do away with those things uh, so that they can receive your visitation. Uh, thank you, precious Father, for in Jesus' glorious name I have prayed. Uh, amen and amen. Uh, hallelujah. Pride and self-centered uh, are the things that we need to deal with uh, so that we can walk, we can walk well with God. Uh, God does not like pride. Uh, self centered is a sin uh, because the Bible makes us to understand uh, that when you do not love your brother and your sister, you, that is, you, are, you become a mundar. Uh, you cannot say you love God. Uh, as a self centered is even difficult to love God uh, because everything is about you now. Uh, all that your concern is about you now. Uh, and let's we'll see what God says in the first, uh, first John chapter 3 17. Uh, First John chapter 3 17. Let's start from there. Hallelujah. First John chapter 3, verse 17. And the Lord was telling us that 17 says that he said, If anyone has material possession and sees a brother or sister in him, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? So a self centered person cannot love. Her. How can you love her? when all that matters to you all that matter is you it starts from you in the middle of you and it ends with you other people around you does not matter the same thing goes with pride pride is about you i am better than mr a i am better than mr b i know more than this 
and this pride have made people to stop, uh, to stop growing. Uh, and they think in their own eyes they are still growing. Uh, or we know the story of Nebuchadnezzar and the Bible. How pride uh, bring him from a king to be to start eating, uh, eating the. Uh, the Eating glass, uh, this is what self centered can do. This is what pride can do. Now, God, in any way, does not like pride. Uh, and in concerning the pride, let's also see now uh, uh, um, the book of Proverbs. Proverbs told us many now uh, about this self centered people and uh, the bad pride. Uh, let's see what the book of Proverbs says. Uh, we start first by Proverbs 29. Proverbs chapter 29. And uh, I will also see Proverbs verse, uh, chapter 11, Proverbs 29, verse, verse 23. Proverbs 29, 23 says, uh, Hallelujah. 29, 23 says, uh, He said, Pride brings a person low, but the lowly in spirit gain honor. Pride uh, bring you low now. Uh, Pride does not make you to have a good connection with God. Uh, pride does not make you uh, to have this relationship of a father. It brings you low uh, because you see yourself high, whereas you are not bothered. Uh, so by the time you bring your, your own boy yourself, uh, and that is when you can receive from God uh, because God loves those who humble themselves. Uh, but the pride, uh, he does not love them. Uh, he does not sorry when i say love i'm not talking about your personality god love everyone but he hates what you're doing uh, hallelujah pride makes someone to bring someone low now uh, again now uh, let's see also proverbs 16. proverbs chapter 16 verse 5 and verse 18 uh, proverbs 16 5 uh, the lord detests all the pride the pride of us uh, be sure of this they will not go unpunished the lord detests so, if the Lord detests the pride, how can they receive from God? If the Lord detests the pride, how can they pray to God and they receive answer? How can God bless the person that it detests what is doing? So, pride is an excess luggage that you need to deal with. For you to receive, God has given us His word this year. God has made promises uh, for you to receive those things that God has promised. Uh, you must know what uh, you know that I'll be talking about different kinds of luggages. Uh, it might not be your might not be pride, uh, your might not be self self centered or selfishness, uh, your might be anger, your might be in a uh, for forgiveness, uh, it might be impatient uh, in any area that those uh, excess luggage is uh, has to do with you now. Deal with it now before they finish you. Because whatever it is in your life uh, that can be an hindrance between you and your father, your heavenly father, whatever it is that can be an hindrance uh, from you for you not to receive. Uh, it is it is a destiny stopper now those are the things that stop your destiny that stop those things that god has prepared for you as planned it stop the plans of god in your life and what do you do if you don't deal with it now they will finish you before you know it is too late that is not the will of god for us and why is this coming now so that because you will know it is coming now that you will know and know that this is the reason why this thing is happening to me this is the reason why i have fasted i have prayed and nothing is happening listen when you have the excess luggage in you even if you like you call the mirror the most the pastor or reverend that perform miracle in the world to pray with you as long as you have those things excess luggage in you the prayer will not work because there are things that need to be dealt with first in you there are things that need to be dropped uh, imagine you call the god you call the everybody to come and pray for you the pastor the reverend to pray for you and you have the spirit of pride in you you have the spirit of self-centered uh, listen not that you deal with that the prayer will not work let's see verse 18 also proverbs 16 uh, verse 18 uh, he said uh, pride go before destruction pride leads to destruction so we see that we don't need it it's an excess luggage it's an extra in our life it's an it's an extra in one's life uh, and whatever it is extra needs to be dropped 
I'm not seeing, I'm not asking you to, 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 to keep it, drop it, get right of it, do away with it. Because those things can cause injuries, uh, it can cause setback, uh, it can stop you uh, from receiving from God. Uh, it's a lead excess luggage, uh, it's an excess luggage that leads to destruction. Whatever leads to destruction, what do you need to do with it? Get right of it. Uh. Let us also the book of uh, First John. First John also talk, told us about this uh, pride uh, of a thing. First John chapter two. First John chapter two, verse sixteen to seventeen. Uh, let's see what it says here. First John chapter two, fifteen to seventeen. Uh, let me okay. Let me read sixteen and seventeen. Uh, it says, "For everything in the world, uh, the loss of the flesh, uh, the loss of the eyes." Uh, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The pride of life is not from God. And whatever is not from God is excess luggage. Whatever is not from God will not make you to be connected to God. Whatever is not from God make you far from God. Whatever is not from God uh, stop you from receiving from God. Uh, I continue verse 17. He said, The world and its desire pass away, but whoever does the will of God live forever. Hallelujah. We're still talking about excess luggage. Pride is an excess luggage because it deceives you to think that we don't need God. You are capable of everything. It will make you to see yourself as God. That is what many people are doing. They see themselves as God. Pride make you not to be godly. Pride make you na, to do things uh, that is not pleasing to God. Horrible things that cannot bring glory to God. You look, imagine looking yourself bigger uh, and seeing others uh, lower than you. Nobody, people that God make in his own image, uh, you see them as nobody. The same thing with self, uh, self-centered. Uh, Self-centered can also lead to selfishness. Uh, selfishness. Uh, I wonder the Bible talking about selfishness also. Now, let's also see the book of Second First Corinthians chapter ten. First Corinthians chapter ten, verse twenty-four. Hallelujah. First Corinthians ten twenty-four says. Uh, First Corinthians 10, 24, it says, uh, No one should seek their own good, uh, but the good of others. Uh, this is the word of God. Uh, but by the time you seek the good of yourself uh, alone uh, and forsake the one of others, uh, what I will you receive from God? Uh, and there's another place that said that, that said that asks you to 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 love or love your no don't love yourself uh, because in the end time second timothy 3 2 said that uh, in the end time people will be lovers of their selves uh, it is a sin to love yourself uh, and hate other the bible told us that uh, in mark chapter 12 verse 31 it said love your neighbor as yourself uh, by the time you are is about you it begins with you it continues with you and it ends with you it's a sin Nobody matters to you. Nobody is important than you. All you think is about e, I, 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 me, 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 I, me, I, me, I, me, and I, me. It's a sin. Honor another above yourself, says the word of God. Uh, let's read that in the book of Roma. Roma chapter 12, verse 10. Let's see what that place says. Roma 12, 10. And we also read Roma 15. Roma chapter 12, verse 10 says that. Uh, he said, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourself. Then why should it be me and me alone? In the kingdom of God, there is nothing like me, 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 I, me, I, me, I. No. See all that is above yourself. Love all that is above yourself. It says, Romans chapter 15, verse 12 to, 12 to 13 says that, Sorry, Roma 15, 2 to 3. Roma 15, 2 to 3 says, He said, Each of us should please our neighbor for their good, to build them up, 
For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the insult of those who insult you are falling on me. Did Christ come to please himself? Did Christ come to put himself as a center? No. Christ did not come for himself. He come for others. You as a child of God, for you to be connected and received from your Father, you have to see others as yourself, not you above others. Self-centered, pride need to be get rid of. They are hindrance, they are excess luggage in one's life. Those things will not make you to be connected. They will make you not to receive. No amount of prayer that can change that, except you decide to change, except you decide to put that me, I, me, I, me, except you decide to put it down and embrace the love of others and uh, see others as yourself. Uh, we remember the story in, in First Kings chapter twenty-one. Uh, the king of uh, the story of King Ahab, who oh, self-centered, uh, selfishness make him to desire. He's a king. Uh, he has all that he needed, uh, but he he, trust, he was interested in the land of only the land that the person has. Uh, he was interested. They say, but in uh, what matter is a but in? He does not care about. How all that feel that is what self center people are. They don't care about the, what others feel. They don't care about others' happiness. What matter is that? Let me be happy now. I'm happy. I am joyful. What matter? What others are passing through is not my interest. That is wrong. You need to be your brother's keeper. You need to be your sister keeper. If I'm okay, that is all. Does not matter. The, the others does not matter to me. King Ahab make the wife Jezebel to kill uh, Nabat all the sake of selfishness. It's a sin. It leads to many other sins. Uh, so before he run you, get right of it. Before he deal with you, get right of it. Do away with it. They are, I repeat, they are excess luggage uh, that needs to be dealt with. Uh, Hallelujah. Before it is too late. Now that you know, what do you do? There are things we cannot do by our power. There are things we cannot do by saying, okay, I won't stop her now. I don't, I, don't want, I don't want to be this again. There are things we cannot just get right. In such a, a, a case, uh, all we need, we cry to God. Uh, and we cry to God. Like I keep saying, uh, once upon a time, anger was my excess luggage. I keep repeating it. I keep saying it. Uh, so that people will know where I'm coming me from and what God has made me to be today. Anger was my self-centered, was my uh, anger was my was my excess luggage uh, that is so much deal with me, eh? Uh, if not the grace of God, maybe the maybe anger for don't bury me. But thank God for God. Uh, thank God for his grace uh, that is sufficient but listen uh, one thing is for you to know this thing another thing is for you to, to to know that this is my 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 excess luggage another thing is for you to know that this is uh, is my weakness it's my weak point uh, because by the time you don't know that you have this excess luggage in you no matter what people will say and you begin to accuse those people that they are jealous of you no they are not jealous. Uh, you must acknowledge uh, that you have this excess luggage in you. Because if you don't know you have it, you cannot deal with it. How are you going to deal with something you don't know that you have? Even when others are telling you that this is your weak point, you will see them as an enemy. No, you need to know first that this is what the, the excess luggage you are carrying. Uh, that is only way you can deal with You cannot deal with it if you don't acknowledge that you have it. I know that my my was anger. Again. I'm talking about years ago. Years ago, at the beginning of my Christianity, I know this, and I take it to my father. Lord, this would make me not to serve you. Of course, uh, it's uh, that anger that I was talking about. There is no way it could have made me to serve God as I am doing now. It could have be, be continued to be an hindrance in my life. It could have been an excess luggage that whenever I want to take a step, it draw me back. I take one step, that anger draw me back ten steps. That is what excess luggage did in one's life. You try to take a step, uh, 
And you, as you take one step, step, it will take, it will draw you back ten times, step back, backward. Uh, you can never move forward. Uh, you need to acknowledge uh, what that excess luggage is in your life. Uh, not that somebody is saying, uh, "What? Ask yourself. Sit down, examine yourself, look into yourself, uh, and ask yourself, what is this excess luggage in my life?" Uh, and by the time you know it, uh, deal with it. Ask God uh, to help you. Because if you like you pray, when you're not ready to deal with it, you can't. But the time you're ready, you ask for help. The Holy Spirit come and He gives you the grace to deal with it. That is how I deal with my own. I acknowledge my anger. I acknowledge that this anger will destroy me before my time. And I cried to God. I was ready. Ready in all ways. And God helped me to deal with it. And today, hey, people around me can see the big difference. And I'm asking God the level that I want to reach. No matter what you do, I just want to laugh over it. This is what God can do. Pride and self center selfishness is an excess luggage that you need to get right of. May the Lord bless you so into our heart in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And a glorious day. Amen.